Now I've got the chart set up in such a way that as soon as data does go into columns C and D, we're going to see these on the chart as well in the form of different kinds of lines. You may or may not be familiar with regression analysis. I have a cursory knowledge of it. I'm not sure if I can explain it the way I need to, but let's imagine the following situation. To provide the underpinnings for what might be a look ahead at the sales trend here, I'm using trend there in a common sense. Where are we headed with growth in this particular environment here? In order to create an analysis of this line, you can use charting techniques. But there's also a function called trend, an array function that will take advantage of the values found here, and then in effect create a straight line set of values here that are a reflection of the data that's in column B. As with the frequency function and the transpose function, we highlight the cells that are going to get the results first and highlight all of them. What we're about to create here is a straight line, regression line, based on the data in column B. Equal trend, left parenthesis. Now, this function has more possibilities, more capabilities, I should say, than what I'm using here. Here it's a somewhat simple and straightforward use. We simply want to be analyzing the data here. We're not bringing out the R squared factor in it or anything like that. If you're familiar with regression analysis, we're simply going to be creating a new line in column C or a new set of data that will be reflected in the chart. There's the function control shift enter. And there's that straight line regression. Similarly, the word growth represents another function. And this will perform an exponential analysis of the data in column B. Same general approach. Highlight the information here. Equal growth. Left parenthesis. Highlight the column B data again. Control, shift, enter. Now, anybody who's worked with the regression analysis know there's a lot more to it than the simple example we're seeing here. And yet, this is a quick and efficient way of creating those additional lines that will lead us into a better explanation of what has happened and what is likely to happen and where this organization is headed in terms of sales.